Hi everyone, this is Linda and this is a lesson on creating chenille using just extra or you could have ultra. You can't do this in basic because you don't have the wizards. But we're going to create the heart shape with chenille stitches in it so you can actually see how this is done. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the hoop size to the 200 by 200. If you wanted to, you could go to the 260 by 260, but for this purpose, we're just going to leave it at 200 by 200. And I'm going to hit cancel cancel because I already have the 200 by 200 hoop here. So I'm going to go to the wizards tab and I'm going to go to the quilt block and I'm going to pick on outline quilt block filled inner shape. So what this is going to do is let us create this heart area here to put our stippling or our chenille into and it's going to leave everything else blank. We'll do the crosshatch after later on. So we're going to hit next. I need this to be a square around the outside edge. I need the size to be 200 by 200. That's just so that that stitch goes all the way out to the outside edge. We're going to do next. I need to change this to a heart shape. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find my little heart and I can do this heart I can do a couple of different hearts. I kind of like the kind of fat kind of little heart there. And we're going to leave it like this. We're going to leave the size just the same. If I wanted to change the size, I could actually come here and change the size. Now, the other thing I could do is if I uncheck proportional, I can change the height and the width differently. But I'm just going to leave it just like it is. And we're going to hit next. And it's automatically going to default to the stippling stitches. And we don't want that. We're going to change this to a motif. Come to motif and it's automatically going to put the stars in there. We're going to go to options. We're going to change. We're going to leave the group as universal. Category is going to now be chenille style one and that's going to put this area in here. So that's okay. We're just going to leave it just leave the defaults of everything that's there. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to options and I want to turn the way those straight stitches are going to go. So I'm going to change that to 45. I'm going to change this to a triple stitch so it holds those down really, really well. And I'm going to leave the length at 3.0. If it's not 3.0, change it to 3.0. So I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to see what happens. So now I have this. Now the other... Okay, so see how this goes and there's these little spots right here and I really don't want that. So I'm going to go back to options options and pick on spacing and I'm going to change the vertical to 25 just to kind of move things around just a little bit and watch what happens. Now I have nice big pieces for where I can actually cut and that's going to allow me to get in here and actually cut in here in the center and it's not going to have these little teeny tiny pieces that are there. So now what I want to do is I'm all done and I can hit finish. And there it is. So the other thing I want to do is I don't need this stitch all the way around the outside. What I really want to get to is a point where I have a stitch that's going around here. So I can actually um, hoop my stabilizer, hoop my back fabric. And then what I can do is have this stitch that goes around here and holds down my chenille fabrics. Because remember, you're going to do three or four um, layers of chenille fab the fabric you're going to use for your chenille so to do that i'm going to actually go to the modify tab and i'm going to get rid of all these outside edges now it's hard to see because of the grid so we can actually go to view and i can actually say get rid of my grid and come back to modify and now you have the outside edges but those are actually still stitches so i want to get rid of that so i can actually come in here and do box select and get rid of that and hit delete and i can do this and delete and it looks like I'm not getting rid of anything but I really am so I'm going to show that to you here in a second so if I click on my color so it's no longer blue I'm going to go and pick on pink just so that you can see the only thing that's pink is this area here there is no pink on the outside edge so now all I have is the chenille area here um but the other thing I need to do now is create this stitch that goes around here that's going to hold my fabric. To do that, I like going into the border tab and I'm going to select group and I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want it to group things together. Now I need to go and make sure that my heart itself is actually selected. And I want to put this out about 10 millimeters from the heart. So I'm going to go click on 10. Then I'm going to click on just the straight stitch and I just want it to be a basting stitch. I don't want it to be anything heavy duty. So I'm going to click on straight 
Stitch, I'm going to click on Options. I'm going to change this to 6.0 and do OK. So now I can actually, what will happen is it will put this stitch that's going to go all the way around my heart. So I'm going to do Apply and I now have this stitch that's going around the outside edge. And now I can actually go home and I can go up here to the player and actually watch it sew out. So it looks like you can't see it. It is there. It's just it, the graphics on the computer. So because I left it at blue, it stayed there and now it's doing my chenille. So my first step is going to actually be this stitch that's going to lay, hold down my layers of um fabric that I'm using for my chenille. Now, the other thing is you could actually do this twice when you sew that out once so you know where to lay the fabric and then the second time so that you actually have it um, and holding it down. I just chose to do it once. I can kind of guess approximately where I want it. It's going to go there in the center someplace. Um, so it's up to you. If you want to do it twice, you can do that and that's easy to do. I can just go home and I can click on duplicate and there's my second one, put it right on top of the other one. And I'm going to change the color on this one and I'm going to change that to, I don't know, light blue. Because I need to make sure that what it's going to do is it's actually going to sew out correctly. So I'm going to actually, so it did my blue, but it's waiting to do the other until after the fact. And I want to make sure, so see if I do my blue. And then it's going to jump up and do the heart. And I need it to do that other color that's that outside edge. Let's change that to an orange so that we can actually see it a little bit better. Do OK. So now what I want to do is I'm actually going to go and I need to change the order of that one. So I need to take this one and move it backwards. So layout order and I'm going to move it backwards. So now what's going to happen is it's going to sew my um, outside edge, my blue. And then it's going to do the orange and it's hard to see on here i know and then it's going to do my heart so i've now created the blue stitch that is the beginning is actually going to be and i'm going to tab through here so you can actually see this so the first stitch is going to be my blue then my orange and then my heart so now i've got the chenille sewed down and i'm ready to do the next now what i want to do is i need to create those other stitches now if i was when i get ready to do this outside edge i'm going to already have this kind of cut away so one of the things i want to do is i want to cut away those basting stitches then i also want this is when i'm sewing it this is not right now then i also want to trim and get fairly close into this heart around this outside edge. You can choose to do the cutting now if you want to, but you don't have to. You can leave that till later. Now, the next step is going to be doing my crosshatch fill. So I'm going to come back over here to the wizards tab and quilt block. And I, this time I'm going to do a filled quilt block outline inner shape. So I already, I know what the shape is and I need to do this crosshatch fill that's on the outside. So I'm going to hit next. My 200 by 200 is still good. I don't care about that. We're going to come here and I need to go find that wonderful little heart again that I chose. And I didn't make any changes here, so we need to keep that good just like it is. I didn't change the angle. I didn't do anything else with it. We're going to do next. And it's automatically going to do a stipple. And I don't want it to be a stipple. I actually want it to be a crosshatch. And I don't want it quite so close together. So I'm going to go to options and I'm going to go to 10 just to spread that out. Now I could do a couple of different things here. I could also do a triple stitch here. I don't care that this is a triple stitch. This is just going to be just fine as a single stitch. So I'm going to do here and now there's my heart and I'm going to do finish. Now what I need to do is I'm going to change this color and I'm going to change this color uh, to a green just so that we have that. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to watch this sew out and it's going to do the placement line for laying my fabric down. That's my next stitch. And it's going to do the chenille. And then it's going to, and remember before you start doing this cross hatch, you want to cut those basting stitches away. And now it's going to do the cross hatch. Now, the last thing you want to do is you actually want 
to have a, a satin stitch go all the way around this outside edge so that you can make sure that everything stays in place nice and neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this and I need to create a um, clip art from my heart. So I know I make sure I get the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and I'm going to say, I'm going to tab through till I get to just the heart. And there's the heart. And I'm going to right mouse and I'm going to copy it. And so it's going to put it down here in my clip art. So now I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to do new window. So I have a brand new window. Wait a second. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to make sure that my hoop is the right size. I've got the 200 by 200, which is good, which is not that big a deal. And I'm going to go and do paste. So now I have my heart. So I actually want to create this into a piece of clip art. So let's go to the view tab and let's get rid of the grid. So I have no grid going around that at all. Make sure that you unclick out here on the outside edge. Now I need to create this clip art that's going to be here. So now I'm going to come to the snipping tool. Now the snipping tool is part of Windows. If you don't have it, I like having it down here in my taskbar, but if you don't have it, you can actually come in here and look for snipping tool and actually click on snipping tool and you're going to get this little pop-up and I'm going to do a new and I'm going to create a box around this area and I'm going to get it so I have the whole outside edge so I have that and I'm going to do um, copy so I have it copied and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to close my snipping tool and I don't care about saving that we can go and actually go to the wizards tab and I'm going to pick on express design. Ooh, what I need to do is pay attention to what that size was. So let's go back real quick and figure this out. So let's go back and we can go down here to your, um, your tool taskbar and we're going to come here and I need to know what the size of this is. So it still has a box around it. So I need to come in here and say, mm, my width is 133.5 and my height is 107.5. So you might want to write that down. Yours might have ended up being just a little bit different, but you need to know this information. We're going to now go to, um, back to where we were at and I've got this and I have my clip art. I don't need this picture anymore. I know what my size is. So I'm going to come back home. I'm going to select it. And actually I could have gone up there and actually written down what that size was. So I'm going to make that gone. And so what I want to do now is I'm going to come to the wizards tab. I'm going to come to express design, but I need to make sure that this is the specific size I want. So I'm going to go to hoop. I'm going to go in enter hoop size and I said that this was 133.5 for the width. Oops. And I said this height was 107.5. Okay. So now when I do express design, I can say express design into hoop. And I want to just do the outside edge. I don't want to do all the little details. I just want the outside edge. So I'm going to click on Create Express Border. I'm going to do Next. And I'm going to do Load a Picture. I'm sorry, I don't need to do that. I need to paste the picture. So I now have my heart. And I'm going to do Finish. And now I can look and see if this is at the very, very edge. And I it's not. So I need to come in here and I'm going to get really, really close. And I can actually move this in like this. And so now I should have the entire heart. Now you look, see, I have this little piece that's missing. So I'm going to come out here just a little bit. So I should have the entire heart. So I'm going to do next. And sometimes because it's so faint, I need to get it a little bit darker so it can actually see this. So by sliding the little slider here, you can do that. Next. And now I have this wonderful little satin stitch. Now I can come in here to stitch options and I can actually change how wide that is. So I'm going to go to a 2.5 just to give it a little bit more. Now I can change the density and I'm going to make it just a little less dense. I don't want it to be so tight. 
The other thing I want to do is I want to get rid of it being an applique because I no longer want the applique. I just want this part of it. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to make that go away. And I now just have that satin border and I'm going to click on finish. Now I need to copy this and put this over to the other. So I'm going to do a right mouse. I'm going to do copy and I'm going to find my other one that I was working on and I'm going to do paste, right mouse, paste. And now it's right over the outside edge of what I had done. So it's going to do a pretty good locking in stitch. So I'm going to change the color on this and I'm just going to, um, let's do a lime green so it shows up. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to actually watch this play out. So I'm going to hit play and it's going to do the stitch to tell me where I need to lay my fabric. It's going to do another stitch to hold my fabric on fabric stack that I'm using for my chenille. It's going to do my chenille and I'm going to watch it. So do, 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 do. and then just before I don't forget, I'm going to pause this here before it starts to do this part of it and it stops, what you want to do is cut these basting stitches away on your off your fabric and that way those basting stitches are no longer there. You're also going to trim your fabric all nice and close in here. So that keeps it from when you do this cross hatch that it doesn't go onto the fabric that you want it to be. When we finish, what's really nice is it's going to sew all this way around. It's going to do a nice little satin stitch all the way around the outside edge of everything and keep things nice and neat. Now you can go a little bit wider if you want to, but you don't have to. So I'm going to cancel out of that. So basically that's it. Um, you now have this and ready to go. So you're going to want to do your save as, and you're going to want to do, um, make sure you know where it's going to get saved to. I have just for fun for creations and I just, kind of put it in there and now I want to export it. And so I don't, the remove overlap, it's not going to matter because it's, these are all stitches and it's remove overlap looks for fills versus fills. So if there was a fill, it would do that. So I'm just going to do okay. And again, I want to go and do um, my just for fun creations and it's Shalini Hart exported and exported. And then I'll do another video on actually stitching this out. Now the hopefully you try this and you share some pictures. Thanks.